chosen. What are you doing here? The VIP range was closed. Broken pipe or something. I can't believe I have to wait down here with... Uh, everyone. Sorry to hear about your lounge issue, but I meant, what are you doing here at the airport? Oh, I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously competed in Japan. And me, of course. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. You look like a prama. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualified match if you do something for me first. <sighs> this better not be about the broken pipe. I need you to say Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. Even better than the so-called lock. Do that, and you will have the last spot in the Apex tournament. I'm not lowering myself to that. At least, not right now. If I change my mind, I'll let you know. Appearing in the tournament would have been good for you. You need all the publicity you can get right now. Seriously, you really fell off the map when you got fired from WWE. There were rumors you had become a toll booth operator. Have you looked into that? Maybe a better career choice than wrestling for you. Less chance of getting beaten up. Don't have to work with others. I'm going to stick with wrestling. Thanks. Did you fix the pipe? Is the VIP lounge open again? No, Chosen, it's me. I don't work here, remember? Oh, right. Did you change your mind about saying Chosen is the greatest restaurant in the world? Yes, I'll do it. Great. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. He is better than I ever was or ever will be. Say something else. And act like you mean it. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. We good now. Almost. Explain what would happen if you face Chosen in the Apex Tournament. You know, just for my own self-confidence. <sighs> okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, I'm done. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans, the Chosen ones, are going to love hearing you say all that. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. I recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world needs to hear you say Chosen is the greatest. <sighs> You're actually the worst. Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualify match. Don't blow it.
The Apex Tournament is finally here. How are you feeling? A bit jet lagged from the flight, but I'm sure once the bell rings, the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine. Why is this tournament so important to you? This is a high profile event where a successful showing would go a long way to rebuild my image. And of course, I wouldn't mind beating a few current WWE superstars in the process. Got it. So this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament. You really need to start doing your research. The tournament's participants are split into two groups. Each group's wrestlers face off in round-robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses, zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So yeah, I'd say that's a big deal.
Awesome. I saw you won your first match, too. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm not here to talk about the tournament. I have some feedback on the video you did for me. You mean the video you recorded without my knowledge where you tricked me into saying all those lies about you? Yes, that's the one. After listening back to it, your performance was lackluster and uninspiring. I didn't believe anything you were saying. That's because I didn't believe it either. You're not better than me. And if I get the chance to face you, I'll prove that. <laughs> sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. The video still put up big numbers. After the edit, of course. I'm going to do my talking in the ring. So you can have your chosen ones and your stupid social media posts. Which, I get the feeling you care more about than actual wrestling. No. I care about both. I'm going to win the tournament, build my following even bigger, and then conquer the wrestling world. That's my goal too, minus the lame social media content. I've seen your feed. That is lame. Anyway, only one of us can get to the top. And Rock already had his chance. It's my time now. <laughs> we'll see.
You're off to a good start so far. It's going to be a tough few weeks to get to the end of this tournament and come out on top. Any advice on how to survive? You showed you could tough it out in the British Rules Tournament. So, do more of that? Thanks, I guess. There is one way you could get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights, but you could skip them. So, you want to earn the respect of the Japanese fans and show them you have fighting spirit? Or tell PWJ and the fans to shove it and rest up. I'm not taking any shortcuts, and I'm certainly not going to risk disrespecting the Japanese fans. So I'll honor tradition and do the tag matches. Good call. I wouldn't have wanted to be seen with you if you chose the other option.
If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor, headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw, and I'm headed home empty-handed. Well, hopefully you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament Trophy. But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B, so you'd face him in the finals. I'm not worried about Chosen. He's too concerned about his image and social media content to be a real threat. So if I get by Finn, the trophy's mine.
I'm working on my victory post for after I win the tournament final. Do you think 50 fire emojis is too much? Or will it really drive home the point that I'm on fire? You ever hear the expression, don't count your chickens before they hatch? No. Why would I not want to count my chickens? How else would I know how many I have? That is dumb. Whatever. Point is, let's see how the match turns out before you start celebrating. I already know how it's going to turn out. I went undefeated in the group stage while you had to win your last match just to barely clinch your spot in the finals. So, I have way more chickens than you. You're really not getting that. Also, your old friend Shawn Michael sent me a DM that he'll be watching our match. Probably wants me to be his next rock. I don't think Sean will be interested in signing you after I embarrass you in the ring. Now, who's counting their chickens?
I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? <laughs> I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I could get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I don't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least it'll be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Ah, uh, didn't know you were going to be here, too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex Tournament. Thought I could be look free for a while. Don't call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better, since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. <sighs> Fine. But just this one match. That's it. 